G'day, Alex Moss here from Tactical Arbitrage and I wanted to talk to you about the new Enable Product and Reverse Saved Lists Auto Updates and Alerts feature. Now it's a bit of a mouthful but you can find it here in the Settings Notifications page and it's reasonably simple and straightforward. Um, I call it a bit of a version 1.0 at the moment because it's changing even today. We're making some modifications and uh, I just wanted to show you where we're at with it. It has launched, it's live, you can start using it in its current state um, and it will evolve uh, from here. So uh, the way that it works is you've got your email and SMS notifications that you may be using right now for when uh, searches, product search is uh, complete. And um, there's this enable product and reverse save lists. Now you know what a save list is. That's uh, where you've stored all your little favorite items here to revisit later on. And um, you can select them and do little updates and find out whether or not it's, it's still a worthwhile buy or whether or not it's slipped off the scale. And uh, you know, at, at the way it stands at the moment, you've got to go in there and manually do this one by one. You've got to go in there and say, "Hang on, it's been a few days. I might go and check whether this bounce off game from Target um, is currently worth buying. Is it in stock? And and um, is there any profit in it?" So, what we need to do is uh, automate the procedure. So. You go in here and you'll select a yes for this feature because we want to save ourselves a lot of time and effort in the future and just have the system send us a notification when there is some juicy deals to be profited upon. And you'll select which folders from your saved, um, your saved lists that you wish to update. Now obviously mine's a bit of a test account, uh, so there's not a lot of actual useful stuff in here. And sometimes I just click the heart button just to make sure it's all working, which is why I've got random things like TVs in there, which you probably don't. But um, the way it will work is you go in there and you can uh, select these and it'll, it'll build up to a certain amount that you'll be able to see you've got a combined saved items there of say 157. Now this is important because if you cross certain thresholds you'll get less updates per day. Now you can mouse over this little tooltip to find out what the breakdown is at the moment but essentially it's if you've got over 2,000 products that you want updated at the moment the system won't work. Uh, if you've got uh, under 500 it'll be four times per day and there's everything in between you know, two times a day for 1,000 products uh, and so on. Now, this is what I would consider um, a very safe start for this. We've actually done this in a way that won't overload the system and we can monitor the thresholds and then eventually, hopefully, jack this up to say 5,000 products you can update in a day. Maybe you can get multiple updates on say one to 2,000 products per day. But for starters, it's a little conservative just for us to be safe um, to test the system. Now, um, uh, let's say I want that four times a day in it, there. So um, then I say to the system, well, look, send me any notifications that are over, say, 10% ROI. If it's 11%, I'm probably going to chuck it out. But I want to know. I, I want to know what, what's there, what's currently a positive ROI, what's on the radar. And, um, you know, also maybe let me know when there's any, uh, any increases. Now, um, I'll be talking to um, my guy, my developers, to have a look at removing this feature because I think really as long as it fits this criteria, get an alert. We had it in there um, that if I have any small percentage increases on the previous ROI, send an alert as well. But I'm probably going to make it that look, if it, if it fits the bill and meets that criteria, you just get an alert and that's it. So if this little bit disappears, um, it's uh, it's not a big drama, but for now you can leave it that at say 10% and um, you know and any increase, zero percent increase. So just any increase at all will get an alert as well. So let's just turn that on to yes. How about when the item is in stock? We want to get an alert for that. If an item was out of stock and has suddenly become in stock, then that's really cool to know. Now this is um, also an imperfect system that's increasing. We've got about 250 sites in there now that currently. Um, work with our in stock out of stock feature and the reason we were doing that is purely for this auto update um, scenario. We did a lot of work on the back end to get all as many uh, in stock out of stock parameters into our code um, locked in so that we can know when an item goes from in stock to out of stock and vice versa 
and therefore set off these alerts um, appropriately. So it's not perfect because uh, sometimes you will see something is in stock and go and check it and it's been a live update and you know it's live, it's not cached, you've just updated it, the system says it's in stock, you go and check it's out of stock, please send us an email about that in our support tickets. We want to collect as much um, of this data as possible. So if you go into support at the moment, drop down here and select out of stock issue and let us know the URL in there um, of, this, of the product and domain, uh, well that'll be in the URL anyway. Um, that was a live update and it said it was in stock, but when you looked at the page it was out of stock because we're gonna continue to fine tune this and we're gonna crowdsource that solution to make sure that it is tweaked uh, to be as accurate as possible so that this auto updating system works as well as it possibly can. Uh, I'm pretty confident that most of our pages are working and functioning extremely well, but I do anticipate we're going to get some notifications on this, so please don't hesitate to send in an email if you get an inaccurate in-stock, out-of-stock um, scenario. So what I also like to do is um, turn this on, which is only tell me when the products satisfy both the return on investment and the in-stock criteria. That way, um, you know, we might have had 50 products that were now 30% return on investment. We might have had 50 products that were now in stock. But the Venn diagram of the overlapping space where the products are in stock and a positive return on investment, that's the stuff that as an online arbitrageur, I really want that particular data sent to me, to my email box. Um, I can set it so that it just gives me all of the all of the in stock stuff and all of the positive ROI stuff, and that's probably good for the RA guys because they might be able to find some stuff that's in stock um, at their local store but is out of stock online. Um, but for someone like me who's parked all the way over here in Australia, um, I really just want to know when the item is um, positive ROI and in stock. So I'm going to turn that on and just send me that information, please system. Now, um, when making this, I realized that there was a loose end. What are we going to do with this adjusted price information? Uh, if, I, if I put this adjusted price column on here, and let me just, uh, let me just move that next to this here. So, when I originally scanned this item, back in whenever it was, it might have been um, August 2016. I might have set that with a 20% off board games deal, um, a 5% uh, cash back, and a 7% um, gift card, granny gift card, and it spat out my adjusted price of $14.34. Now, when calculating the return on investment, it's utilized this adjusted price versus the um, the return after Amazon's taken all their fees and prepping and shipping's come into play. And it said to me, okay, there's a 25% return on investment there. Now that may not qualify today, of course, there may not be these same deals in place. So it's our job normally to go in there occasionally and adjust this manually with some update adjusted prices, okay? So that deal might not be there for the um, for the board game deal. There might now be a site-wide deal at Target for 10% off you know, with a 5% with a, uh, discount there and maybe another 5% there. And then we update that and adjust everything accordingly. So that's what we normally do and it's manual and that's okay, right? Um, but, but I thought with this automated system, it might be good for people who want to take the time to populate their set discounts. And if I go down to USA here um, and we look down at say Target. So, um, I haven't taken the time to populate this and you know what, I'm going to make it super easy in the coming weeks. I'm going to put an import CSV feature here so that somebody entrepreneurial might want to put together a list of current discounts, you know, particularly uh, maybe if you're subscribed to the Step Ahead group, maybe he'll export one that you can import or maybe a few other people want to share some stuff on the walls uh, of current, um, current discounts and uh, gift cards and that kind of thing. And you'll just be able to import a CSV here and just populate this set discounts list. Um, now, this is kind of um, accurate to a degree. If you, if you let's say you've got 10% in there, 5% and 5%. Now you might find that the cash back is, is always gonna be 5%. Um, 
if from some cashback sites and you might find that generally a gift card granny gift card is about five percent off or in some cases they're like you know you get these Starbucks cards that might be 15 percent off uh, so that's great the variation is normally going to be this first column and where there's going to be the occasional inaccuracy is when we do a say a store-wide search a store-wide discount on um, for 10 percent on I guess on telescope.com here but it might only be the refracting lenses of telescopes that have got a sale on that day at 10% off. So there might be some uh, some writing of this button where you've got this turned on for a while and then you might go into here and you might do an update adjusted prices on a certain category uh, so that you might, you might go and update some adjusted prices um, manually with this switched off so there's a little bit of back and forth you might want to do in those cases but for the most part you should be able to populate this with um, you know Coles for example is a big one for having like a store-wide a store-wide deal Disney has store-wide 25% off the entire store periodically and as long as you know when those deals are on and you put the data in accordingly you should by rights be able to catch um, catch these uh, profitable return on investment and um, and in stock alerts uh, as accurately as possible so I like the idea of using the set discounts um, some people will prefer to keep this turned off and go in and manually keep using the update adjusted prices and uh, what you would do in a situation like that is you would keep the return on investment really low so like send me notifications when just just when it's anything over zero percent because you might know that it might be um, you know a board game in there uh, that you want to currently do or you might have already got so what will happen if you um, what will happen if you've got this turned off is it'll use the update adjuster that you can that you had when you very first saved it or when you last update adjusted prices it if that makes sense so there's a warning actually when you turn this on basically it says this feature will overwrite any adjusted price discount percentage values with set discounts for update all buttons and save lists and the auto updates and alerts feature so when you're doing an update all in future or using the auto alert updates and alerts feature the set discounts button if turned on will overwrite the the values that you place into the set discounts button will overwrite anything that you have in the save data list when doing those updates so um, you may decide to keep that off and just use um, you know manual store discounts and whatnot you may decide to keep it on uh, and and make sure you keep updating the set discounts page to keep that nice and accurate it might be better to keep that switched on when there's an option to import CSVs and keep that updated in another way as well. So there's plenty of ways to do it, but the two options are there. Okay, so I'm going to accept that, and then later on I'm going to go through and I'm going to check uh, that this M Beans is 15% off, and Natchez has 10% off, and and I know that Payless has currently got 25% off, and and I might be doing this because I'm subscribed to say Sean Mayer's Step Ahead group and he has all of this data in his spreadsheet. So it's super, it's super good to be a part of that group because you can go in there and get all of this information and just populate this page by page, 5% here, and that and you can keep this up to date. And I believe they're both in alphabetical order, so you can probably go through and, and uh, you know, scan along here while you're scanning along on the other page and keep that up to date fairly easily fairly accurate I think um, Sean even has it marked as which ones are new and which ones are expiring which again is going to help you go through and just go all right it's time to remove this one from here and change that to 10% or it's time to remove this from here um, now there's not a better solution than, than that at the moment so that's why I'm mentioning that uh, step ahead group from uh, Sean Mayo um, so I would suggest that you reach out to him on the tactical arbitrage wall and see about um, about that particular thing and I'll, I might post a link for that underneath this video as well so that you can decide whether or not that's for you but that is a way to use the set discounts with the feature it's the set discounts with this new feature so it's all switched on there it's all ready to go I hit the save button and then if it's four times a day well then every six hours I'm going to get a notification and the notification um, providing that there's positive ROI and in stock items is going to give me a list with clickable product links to the buy page of the products and a clickable 
link to the saved folder where that item resides. Okay, um, we have had a suggestion already since releasing this that how about all of the positive ROI and in stock items just um, go into their own saved list so that that's just forever revolving and changing so that you can just easily go in there and just check that yourself and, uh, and manage that yourself. Maybe override some of the adjusted prices and just play with that and have a little bit more control over that. So um, I will look at that as a feature because I think that's a worthwhile suggestion. I've had that suggested by a couple of people. And uh, again, it's evolving, it's growing. At the moment it works. I was excited to turn this on for myself. And even some of this, um, even some of these random little hearted items that I put in here, I had a handful of ones come in saying, wow, this is now positive ROI and in stock. And had I not had this feature turned on, um, I may never have gone to check that. And, or I may have only checked that once every couple of weeks. I may have just saved that and forgotten about it. So it's very cool. You know, I wonder if I ran this on all of the closed accounts from all the history of people who've, who've uh, closed their tactical arbitrage accounts but left all those saved data items in there. If I ran this feature and got them to send notifications, how many times that little buzzer would go off. Um, but of course, I'd never do such a thing like that. Uh, anyway, I want you to enjoy this feature. Um, I won't ramble on anymore. It's already longer than I wanted it to be. I am not the master of making a two minute video, I'm sorry. But I hope all the information is in there for you to get started with this. And uh, watch it evolve. Uh, like I said, this bit here might go away. Um, we might end up feeding some of these into their own saved data page. Um, advise me if items are not correct for the in stock feature. And uh, we'll, we'll tweak a few a few more things on this end and uh, all going well this feature should make you a lot of money cheers and that's what we're here for bye